Good morning, Texans. I'm Gabe, and you're watching Texan TV. The Texan Student Media Department is looking for creative, hardworking, and self-driven students to join your book and newspaper next year. Interested? Follow us on Twitter at SHHS Texan Student Media for the link to our online application. Hey, mark your calendars for every Wednesday and come join us for the AOC Art of the Covenant Bible Studies. Find out all we have planned and meet new friends and enjoy learning amazing things while enjoying snacks. We meet in room 907 from 310 to 4. See you then. And now, here's our Q&A with Greg and Jan. It's your only, we got, do we have an SD card? What's better, Xbox or PlayStation? Bro, PlayStation okay. all the way. PlayStation all the way? Yeah. No, PlayStation, Xbox. Xbox, thank you, thank you. But the majority said Xbox today, which is odd, you know? That's it's good. odd. That's, PS4. <laughs> That's so crazy, you know, everybody's saying Xbox. Like, the ties are turning. Bro, I've been, I've been having an Xbox since, like, the third grade. And I'm in, like, 12th grade. Huh? Which one was the first Xbox ever made? The Xbox. The Xbox One. <laughs> the Xbox one. Well, I don't break nothing, but I had a, a PS4. PS4. Yeah. So you go with the PS4? Yeah, but I had, I had an Xbox too, but I don't like it because it's been stolen like too many times. It what? I, it, it's been stolen like so many times. Yeah. I had the, the Xbox, the Xbox One, and the, three, the Xbox 360, the white one and the black one, they all got stolen. Got stolen. Yeah. All the colors, all the shapes, they all got stolen. So, I say, no, I got a PS4. No one wants to steal a PS4. Hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. PlayStation, PlayStation for sure. PlayStation. <laughs> it looks like he has an argument for that. All right, so why do you pick PlayStation? Because uh, we played God of War. God of War was the game of the year. And Xbox players didn't even play it, so. Uh, Xbox got Halo. We got Forza. We got, uh, we got all that good stuff. Who plays that game? Who plays that game? Nobody. Except Halo Reach. Halo Reach was, was OG. But. No, Halo 5 was pretty good. I mean, I, I don't Attention Texans. The Black History Month Committee invites you to attend our 2020 Black History Month program at 5.30 February 21st for the read-in and 6.30 for the performance in the Sam Houston Auditorium. This year's theme is Eracism, Bridging the Gap. This show is meant to encourage all of us to do our part in bridging the gap with cultural awareness and respect for diversity. The production includes performances from your fellow peers, staff, members in the community. Please come out and be inspired. Let's show the success that we all do to be part in bridging the gap. Do you want to look good on your college academic resumes as you apply for scholarships? Do you want the honor of being in an honor society that is nationally recognized? French National Honor Society is now taking applications. If you are in French 2 or higher and you have a 90% grade average every semester of French that you have taken, then you are eligible. Seniors currently in French are eligible to wear blue, white, and red honor cords in graduation. Please see Madame Harms in room 230 to pick up your application. The deadline to apply is February 14th. And now, here's our spotlight on the varsity basketball twins. Hey, I'm Anderson Wynn, I'm a senior. I'm Brandon Wynn, and I'm also a senior. Uh, shooting guard? Shooting guard, same position. Uh, since the seventh grade, I think. Mm. Yeah, it is, kind of. Uh, just balancing and prioritizing everything. Um, homework and practice, all that stuff, for sure. But, you know, it's, it's a lifestyle, it's easy. Uh, we always have that debate of like who's better and you know I always come out on top just because I'm better and you know he can think he's better sometimes but it, it's okay because I'm better. Uh, college at no idea who knows where who knows where that's, that's a good answer but I plan to major in kinesiology and get an, a master's in athletic training. I have no clue what I want to do. It's, it's weird because like everyone thinks it's like so different but I feel like it's just like having another brother. I mean having a brother and uh, I don't know it's no different really. Thank you for everything. 
you made it a, a good journey. Uh, proud to be a Sam Houston basketball player. To the teammates, I love y'all, man. Shout out, yes, sir. Uh, to the coach, Coach Keeling, uh, Coach Sessions, Coach Keeling, you the dog, bro. And Coach Cunningham, can't forget. Uh, it was fun playing for you. I'll never forget that season. That was, that was fun. Uh, Coach Sessions, thank you so much for all the support through everything. Uh, Texan baseball tryouts are Saturday, February 1st at 9 a.m. at the Sam Houston baseball fields. The tryout is open to any 9th through 12th grade students who have a physical and electronic forms completed on rank1sports.com. Make sure to bring baseball equipment, gloves, cleats, cups, etc. Baseball attire and your fourth six weeks progress support. Got any questions? Please see coaches Weaver, Carlton, Epstein, or Chance at the MAC or in room 504. Sim Houston Choir is singing the national anthem at the Dallas Mavericks versus New Orleans Pelicans game on Wednesday, March 4th. We are selling tickets for just $30. Ticket sales open to all Sam Houston students, teachers, friends, and family. Please come by room 704 for more details. Thanks for your support. And now, here's the Black History Month announcement. Hello, I'm Brad Flick, and I'm the Vice President of the Black History Month Committee. And when I first started, honestly, I, I didn't know too much about black history. I first joined the performance with uh, Mr. Robertson and his poetry performance and we did tons of practice and had our performance and had all these meetings and stuff. And at first I really felt behind because I, honestly I didn't know too much about black history. But as we went on with all the teachers and students spreading the knowledge, it really just helped me learn. And honestly, I think that's a really cool part about the Black History Month program. And as you know, in February we do have a big show and I think you guys should come out and either support the show and support the show by watching it or actually be a part of it, whether it's being in an actual act or, or working the stage crew. In general, I think Black History Month program is a phenomenal program. I think everyone should be involved in it, no matter what race or creed you are. So growing up, uh, my mom, she always emphasized the importance of learning about Black history. So from a young age, we'd always go to the library during Black History Month and learn about these prolific figures in Black history and like what they've done to impact my life and like society as a whole. So when I got to high school and I first learned about the program, I decided to, it would be fun because I had friends in it. So then after that first year seeing like the poetry performance, I genuinely fell in love with what it had to offer in a way that it got to express my emotion, my feelings in a way that could impact others. So the year after that, I decided to be a part of it and be a part of the poetry program. And like being able to express how I felt and how as a young black, Amer black male and a minority in this country, being able to express what that meant to me and like the challenges that I face and what I have to do to overcome that and what that means to be a young minority in this country. It was amazing to be able to express that in, in the way that I got to be able to. So I'm forever grateful for the opportunities that the Black History Month program has provided for me. And it's really a great show overall because it's the dances and like the poetry, everything is phenomenal. So I feel like if you guys come out, you guys have a great time. You get to learn some more about yourself because it's not just, it is Black History Month, but it's really about unity and like getting rid of racism in our culture because like all of us have uh, experienced, we know we see it in the news and policies right now. So just being able to go somewhere where like we're celebrated as minorities and like learning more about each other is something incredible. I feel like you guys have a great time. Attention timely Texans, are you going to class on time? Do you have less than three tardies and less than two excused absences? Congratulations, you are eligible for an award. If this is you, you will be entered into a drawing to win a prize at the end of the six weeks. When? January 21st through February 12th. And what can you win? You are eligible to win gift cards and rewards. How? You, you may have less than three tardies and less than two excused absences. Hey Texans, make sure to buy your book in room 511 or at texanstalk.org. Your books are $45 and they will go up to 50 in May. And if you buy your book right now, you'll be interviewed for a guaranteed spot in this year's yearbook. We're hard at work conveying this year's theme, the good old days, and we need your support again. So go buy your, your yearbook in room 511 from Ms. Johnson. The quote of the day is, life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important and capture the good times and develop from the negatives. And if things don't work out, just take another shot. And remember Texans, learners today, leaders tomorrow. I'm Gabe and this has been Texan TV.
All right, Texans, remember, if you would like to be a guest reader, just come down to room 1505 or send me an email or text me if you have my social media. How was it? It was all right. <laughs> <laughs> not as easy as it looks, but it's not impossible. So make sure if you're interested, just come down to room 1505. Thank you, Gabe. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs>